On today's episode, we are doing some IKEA hacks, and I have my good friend Lisa. You know her from her channel, Lisa Birmingham. We are going to be doing some IKEA hacks. More specifically, I'm going to do at least one dupe. Lisa, you're doing some dupes. I'm doing some dupes. Yeah. Okay, that's the challenge. So let's get on the road. From June 24th, it's where I kissed you for the first time. Played on your sheet. Okay, we're here. Let's go shopping. Me, but all I did was let you down time and time again. Okay, so I actually need to go upstairs because one of the dupes that I want to do is a furniture item. So we're gonna go see if we can find it. I like this sofa. Super nice. Maybe I should I do like seeing like their kitchen stuff. It's kind of cute. We've got a faux Florida lanai here in our Ikea. This is new. I just thought this was kind of funny. Maybe I should have known. I've been out to the There's Lisa doing her thing over there. <laughs> right. I'm getting Find you on camera. <laughs> reasons not to call. It's just that I want to. Oh my word, this is so comfortable. And it's so luxurious. Like this green velvet is so pretty. What do you think? I love it. <laughs> In some future episode, not this one, I would really love to like hack this and turn it into an awesome bench. I think that that is a really yeah. hackable thing for $24.99. Seriously. See, this is what I love about Ikea. <laughs> you can just find like random things that you could turn into something turn amazing. Into yeah. <laughs> okay, I feel like we are getting close to where this table is that I'm looking for that I want to do, but let's see. We gotta be getting close. We're getting to the, like the bedroom. Where are you, nightstand? <laughs> I like the kitchen area. It's a lot of eye candy. So fun. Very sleek, modern, and sexy. Look at these. These kind of remind me of jadeite. Love jadeite. It's so pretty. Look at this brass piece. Is it solid brass? Don't clean it with ketchup unless you know. If you don't know what I'm talking about, watch my last episode. We're lost. <laughs> we keep walking and it never ends. I can see the bedrooms. In fact, I can actually see the nightstand. I didn't even realize it. But that is the one that we are going to hack right there. And turn it to hopefully look like something from Pottery Barn. I'm not really looking for a bed, but I noticed this over here and I thought it was kind of cute. Look at this. Super cute upholstered bed. Honestly, I think you could find something a little nicer for less money online though. Just saying. So I have this dresser at home. It's in my son's bedroom and we are going to be doing a bedroom makeover on his room in a couple of weeks. So we are going to actually just go home and hack the one that I have. and do something different to it. These Hemi dressers are so easy to do hacks on to change them up. So that's what we're gonna do. Then the other thing that we're gonna do, and I'm gonna give away the farm here, is I have already done an Ikea hack on these, but it needs to be redone. So we're gonna be doing redoing one of my old hacks. <laughs> so, and it's on one of these. Okay, are you ready to go down let's to the marketplace? Let's go look at the good stuff. Yeah. The good we, stuff's down there. I mean, the dresses are fun, but let's yes. go look at the accessories. Those are fun. Exactly. This is where I spend most of my time is down in the marketplace whenever I'm doing Ikea hacks, because that's, it's fun. <laughs> I like it. Nothing without you. I don't know what this is a cute little riser. So fun. Lisa's doing some serious shopping over there. What is she gonna get? This is a new jar that I haven't seen before. It's $4.99. I'm probably not gonna dupe it this time, but I have to get one. Oh my word, I'm getting serious like school lunch tray vibes from this. <laughs> so fun. We are looking at placemats and I just love this. It's plastic but it's so cute. I feel like I could do something with that. Not this time though. You know I gotta take a stop in the pillows every time I come to Ikea. I have to stop in the pillows. 
I do think I want to do something for Connor's bed in the bedroom makeover that I'm doing. Uh, so these pillows are so good for that. So I'll see what I can find. They have totally changed the rug section, reworked the whole layout. Messing with my brain, Ikea. <laughs> We're just keep going in circles, just follow the yellow brick road, or in this, in this case, the gray concrete. These are my favorite laundry baskets, and I think I need to pick up a couple more. Okay, you guys are gonna have to go watch Lisa's video because she's getting me in some very compromising situations <laughs> so friends in compromising <laughs> and i feel like we're in a kind of fun house right now with all these mirrors around <laughs> look at this face guys so gorgeous love it Okay, it's time to go get our nightstands that we are gonna do the Pottery Barn dupe on. They're on aisle 12. I think we have found it. I need two of them. But that doesn't look too intimidating. Okay, let's see how these are. Use your muscles. Yeah. <laughs> you got it. Okay, I think we can put it in here. Oh. I'm gonna have to move. Okay. There we go. We'll sneak it in right there. Okay, Natalie, how'd you do? I did tremendously. She's I, got a huge cart full of things. I always leave with a cart full, and I don't mean to, but there's good stuff. It's so. just Ikea, right? <laughs> yeah. Can't help it. Should we go check out? Let's, Let's go, go check, check out. out. So we are back from shopping and I always have the best time with Lisa <laughs> and she was quizzing me during Ikea. So if you want to see the answers to that and see some of our other interactions, make sure after this episode, you pop on over, check out her episode. Hopefully it's a little entertaining to you and hopefully you see some really good ideas from her as well. I know you will. So <laughs> anyways, now it's time to get into our hacks. first one we are going to do is one on a piece that I already had existing in my home. As many of you know, we bought our home furnished and a lot of the furniture was purchased from Ikea. So this one has been sitting for several years waiting for a little bit of love, but we are going to be doing a bedroom makeover and this is the first piece that we're working on for that bedroom makeover. So it's a Hemnes dresser. So on these Hemnes dressers, I've always felt like the, the top piece sticks out a little too far on either end and it just looks off <laughs> and so what I decided to do was trim off about an inch on either side to make it look a little bit more proportional if you will and so I took some painters tape and taped it down and used that as a guide to cut off the excess on the edges now if you have a circular saw it would probably work a little bit easier it would keep you a little straighter I used a jigsaw because it was quick and easy I grabbed it didn't think much about it and so I did have to go back in and kind of sand down some unevenness but in the end it, it did turn out it looks good it's fine so use whatever saw you have on hand Unfortunately, when I kind of cut, it chipped up some of the wood, which I, in theory shouldn't have happened because I had taped it down. I don't know if my saw was just not, my blade was not sharp enough or what, um, but it, it's no matter. I kind of just cleaned it up a little bit and sanded it down. And then I added some wood putty to that and we let that dry while we moved on to the front of the dresser. So the first thing I did is I removed the hardware and then I had it in my mind to do kind of um, this wood trim effect on the dresser because I'm going to be taking Taking this bedroom slightly more modern than maybe the rest of my house it's because it's for my son and it's I want it to be a little bit more masculine what we're gonna do is we are gonna take these I believe they're a 3 8 inch square dowel and we are gonna do an asymmetrical design on our drawer fronts we don't need a saw for this we're gonna just use these miter shears they're, it's gonna come in super handy and then we'll be using some tiny 
tiny little pin nails that are about 5 8 inch thick which will be thick enough to go through our wood dowel and then go into the dresser. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to clip off some and what I was thinking is on an angle this way from here to here and then we'll do some vertical ones going on the bottom so hopefully it will all work out so the first thing i'm going to do is cut it on an angle that like a 45 degree angle and this is just like having a little mini saw it's awesome so we'll just cut the tip off of this just ever so slightly and then what we can do is I'm gonna have, get a pencil and we're gonna make our marks. So that's our first one. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna skip obviously where that is and just continue it on down over here. So that's what we're trying to do here. And we'll keep going. I evenly spaced it out using um, just a piece of scrap wood just to make sure that each space was even and not uneven. I started from the top left hand corner and kind of moved off to the right until we had our angles finished. Okay, so in my initial plan, I just thought I would put this here so it was more continuous. But looking at it on a whole, think that that looks too busy or like I'm trying to fix a mistake and that looks a little more intentional. So I think we're going to remove that and just have it have a line through it. And then I wanted to run some vertical pieces meeting up into our angled pieces. <laughs> so math, it gets my mind all nervous. I'm <laughs> just kidding. And then I just made sure I filled all of the nail holes and made sure after everything was dry, I did a good sanding on top. I sanded um, the dresser, I sanded off all of our putty marks and it was ready for paint. Now, if you ever see me use black paint on furniture, on walls, on drawers, anything that is not chalk paint that I had to have mixed, the color is most likely Sherwin-Williams caviar. It's a beautiful black color that has a little bit of warmth on the undertones it's not cool it's like on the warmer end of things and I just love it I think it's a beautiful color of black and that's what I ended up using on this dresser It was so funny to me because the Hemonese dresser is considered a black brown and this color was almost a color match to it. So the only place you need to really be careful is probably on the dowels because it was so close to the actual color of the original dresser that um, I don't think you're gonna need many coats, if that makes sense. And then let that dry, it was looking good. I was so excited. And I had actually a different idea for the drawer handle. I was gonna do like a long bar across it, but I figured we already had so much going on with the angles of the dresser that adding a long bar um, handle would have been a little bit too busy in my opinion. And so what I decided to do is I ordered some edge pole handles to put on the top of the dresser and we attached those and they were in the brass color it was the perfect finishing touch and it just turned out gorgeous i love the way this turned out i am super super excited my son got a sneak peek of it he loves it he's super excited with the direction i am taking the room and i i just love it i think it it all it was was $10 worth of wood dowels, a little bit of elbow grease and some paint. And we have totally transformed the look of this Hemonese dresser into something very custom looking. And I just love that. Simple changes equal great results.
Okay, my next couple of hacks are dupes. I love doing dupes and I love doing them with Ikea stuff because I feel like Ikea is already trying to emulate Pottery Barn on so many levels. I've seen so many things that kind of look really similar to Pottery Barn items. So I found the Vic Hammer nightstand on the website prior to even going on our little field trip. And I knew that it was gonna be a good dupe for this other one that I found on Pottery Barn that was over $600. And the one that at Ikea was $89. And so all I did is I took it home and I proceeded to follow the instructions on how to build it. It went together way faster than I thought. You know, it's kind of hit and miss. Sometimes they go together quicker. Sometimes they go together not as quick. This one was super easy and I did two of them and the second one went to, together even easier. I mean, I think I did both of them in under an hour. So you can do this, uh, just follow the instructions. They're pretty self-explanatory, very, very good. So then with them built, I didn't need to do any spray painting, anything. It was already black. So my idea for this is you could do like that peel and stick, like contact paper, but I thought it would look a little bit more realistic and be a little bit more durable if I did, and also kind of add a cool texture, if I did peel and stick flooring. <laughs> and it was really affordable. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just cut this down to fit like the door, the, the drawer front, and then we'll put some on top and some on the sides and maybe some down here since we don't have that bottom shelf here I thought maybe we could mimic that right here so I think it's gonna be pretty easy so let's start sticking on this vinyl flooring I think it's gonna work out great I'm really excited let's do this And I'll link it below the, the vinyl that I used so that you can use the exact one. Now, what I noticed is the box of vinyl that I got from the Home Depot was pretty dusty from being in their store. So I think some of that dust kind of worked its way on the vinyl because some of the vinyl didn't want to stick too well to the sides where it was vertical. So what I ended up doing for some a, a few of the pieces, it, it was kind of hit and miss. I think it was like, depending on how dusty it was, I don't know. Um, I used a little bit of spray glue. You could do that and, and it will, it just needs a little bit more adhesive and then restick it and then it was fine. Then I needed to add a handle and they do have handles at Ikea, but I knew I had seen one at Hobby Lobby that was really nice and looked really like the inspiration one. And they originally are $11.99 a piece, but I got mine for on the 50% off. So it was like $6 a piece and I used used that and I had, I just took some painter's tape, stuck down where the holes were, marked those and then made sure it was centered on the drawer and then drilled holes for the handle. And the handle was ready to go. Like it was super easy. I didn't have to paint anything. And then I just attached those handles. It looked so good. I love how this turned out. This is also going in that son's bedroom. You'll, you're seeing the finished view on just like a plain boring wall that's going to get painted here really shortly. Um, I didn't do a whole lot to kind of really style it because we'll save a lot of that for when I actually put together the room and the room makeover is going to happen in a couple of weeks. This was so easy to do. All in all, I think I have about $15 on top of the $89 that I spent on the nightstand. So $105 for each nightstand versus over 600 for the inspiration one. So cute. I love how these turned out. It was super simple to do. Super simple. You can totally do this. I hope you enjoyed that. Up next, I've got another dupe. Okay, so I've taken a break from doing Ikea hacks because I am a youth leader in my church and we are doing a girls camp weekend, just an overnighter. So that's what I'm doing. So next 
up is another dupe. I found this uh, black pillow with like a leather strap in the center on a website called Chloe. I think it was, Chloe? I'm not sure. It's on the screen. <laughs> and it was, I believe, $54 to $56 for this one pillow. Well, these black pillow covers that I get at Ikea are $3.99. And then I had a little bit of this faux leather that was kind of similar in style that I just cut off like a half an inch strip, anywhere from a half an inch to three quarters. Just try to keep it nice and consistent. And also, I think that there's some leather ribbon out there that that would make this super, super easy. And normally, I like to sew things on. In this case, I just decided to glue it on. Um, the basic construct of the pillow was sewed is good. This is just a little bit of an embellishment. So I just glued this on the center of our pillow, put it on a pillow that I already had and boom, so, so easy. That was super easy hack, right? You get a similar look for, oh, yeah, I don't know, we'll call it $4.50 versus $56 or wherever that came in. And it's a massive savings, really cute. It's This is gonna go on my son's bed as well. And I'm super excited for this room makeover. Now, I had originally planned to do another Ikea hack, but I went on this girls camp out with um, some youth from my church and it just just couldn't make it into this episode this time, but I am super excited. I am gonna do a makeover on a past Ikea hack and do another hack on it <laughs> because it just needs a little bit of love, but that will be in a future episode, so stay tuned for that. In the meantime, if you enjoyed this episode, here's another one that I think you'll like as well. And to all of my DIY goddesses out there, you are more powerful than you know. We'll see you next time, bye.